Hi, y'all. So, I'm back again. It's your girl, Monica the Diva. And I know I am in the same getup. But it's two videos in one day, baby. Sometimes it's like that, y'all. Okay, so I'm here to show you guys swatches of all of my favorite blushes and highlighters. So let's start with the highlighters first because I have the least few of them. And then we'll move on to blush. Okay, so my first highlighter is, and I've already featured this in my last video. This is the Golden Bronze Iridescent Powder from MAC. And I think this is about $29, $26, somewhere in that range. And you don't need a lot of this. Just what's in the lid will be fine. And it is just that, a golden bronze color, but I swatched it pretty heavily for you guys so you get a better look of what this looks like. Okay, the next one, because this one is so finely milled, you guys, you just lightly brush it on wherever you want it to go and it's going to give you a glow. It's not really going to make it pop. It's not really going to make it over the top. Um, it's just going to give you a nice glow. The next one is from MAC as well. And it is Trace Gold Blush. And it's a Sheer Tone Shimmer Blush. I'll say that three times fast. Sheer Tone Shimmer Blush. Whew. This is what it looks like swatched. I'm going to put it right here next to golden bronze trace gold is another very natural highlight I, just, I swatched it pretty heavy you guys but when you blend it out these two are going to be your most natural okay next up I have I'll just get all the MAC out of the way so this is the last one from MAC and it is a mineralized skin finish this is limited edition. You cannot get it anymore. I'm really sorry. I hate when people do that. Why are you showing this to me? I know that's what you're thinking, but just so you have an idea because they put these things out all the time. You just have to watch for them. You might not find something exactly like this, but if you can find it similar, you'll see what I'm going for. So this one is in Earthshine. Can't remember what collection it came out with, but this is like a... It's got like a brown, a deep plum color, and then gold in it. So if I want to highlight, I focus on the gold on the outer rim. And it is a true gold. And this is very glittery. See how it's different from the other two. So you have to be pretty careful when you're applying this, you guys. Okay? Because you don't want to apply too much. So that's Earthshine. And these colors here do come off like they look. You can get each individual color out of it. You see that? So that's everything from MAC. Then I have this Too Faced Pink Leopard Brightening Bronzer. And it's just a little mini, something I got from Sephora. And with this product, I swirl. And this is the color it looks like on my skin. So as you can see, it is rather like a bronzy color because of the peach in it. But it does appear on my skin as a highlighter. And I, this is more natural as well, so I use it just over the top of my blushes if I want something to give me like a little bit of a shimmer, or I can use it by itself. Now this one here is a loose powder. This is from Ada Cosmetics. It's called Golden Bronzer. It's actually a bronzer, but I'm going to use it as a highlight. It looks like this. And I mean, that's a lot of product in there. 
There's a ton of product in there. So this is what that looks like. It's the last one here. Also very, very natural. I'm missing one of my highlighters, you guys. And I have to find it so I can show. Oh, here it is. I'm prepared this time. This one is from Smashbox. It's called Artificial Light. I don't know if my camera is going to pick up on that. And it's called Glow. You just get a little bit out. That's a whole lot, you guys. Like, a whole lot. And then see how bright that is but you just keep rubbing it dries really really fast so you have to blend very quickly very quickly and that is your highlight there it's a little bit more bronzy than the Mac um, golden bronze but it gives you the same kind of a look except for one is a liquid and one is a powder and my last highlight to show you guys is this and this is from elf and this is how much I use it and this one is called warm tan I believe it's a bronzer as well I don't know this is what it looks like on my finger swatched and gonna put it right here see if I can also really really sometimes they can be powdery but also very very natural it's a little bit deeper than the rest of them I hope you guys can see that but I'll take pictures of everything and put them on my blog so this is the elf. So one of my first blushes is from Maybelline and it's the Dream Mousse Blush in Soft Plum number 40. I don't know if you can still get these you guys, but this is like a soft pinky mauvey color. It's pretty much true to true to color on the camera right now. There we go. That's the actual color. And it has a little bit of a gold shimmer to it. And I just wear this underneath my other blushes. But it's pretty bright. So that's the first one. Then I have one from Wet n Wild. Everyone knows this one. It's Pearlescent Pink from Wet n Wild. It looks like NARS Orgasm where it is pretty shimmery. Um, got a, like a gold undertone to it as well. Really nice blush. So that is pearlescent pink. Okay. Oops, sorry you guys. Sorry about that. My next one is by Maybelline and it is the mineral powder. And this one is in original rose. It's a loose powder looks like this it's a lot lighter than the other two blushes but when I apply this really softly I love it it doesn't look ashy gives me a nice flush really pretty for the summer so these are all pinks I guess I'm a pinky kind of girl 
Um, this one is from Tarte. This one is called Natural Beauty. And that's exactly what it looks like. Like, for real. That's exactly what it looks like, you guys. Right there. That's it on my finger. Very, very pigmented blush. I have to be careful with it. See, it's a lot deeper than the other three. But um, if you use a light hand, it's really pretty. And these stay on for 12 hours. Like, they're not going anywhere. This one here is from Clinique. And it is called Smoldering Plum number 115. This one has got shimmers in it of like a mauve plum color. And that is smoldering plum. Really pretty. It's like a purpley plum. Um, this one is from MAC. And it's called Peaches. That's Peaches. And it's really light. The camera's making it look... Well, to me, it looks kind of dark. But um, I think I was trying to get... I think it's called Peach Stock. Or... I don't know. I forget what it's called, but... There's peaches, and then there's another peach, peach twist. There's another blush. I think it's called peach twist. Either way, I picked up the wrong one. But this is a sheer tone shimmer blush. It's matte, and if you apply it lightly, it can still get a really pretty blush out of it. So that is peaches. You can barely see it. It's the last one. Not this one, but this one. Here is another limited edition one from MAC. I'm really sorry. It's called On a Mission. And it is like a purple plum color. This is On a Mission. That one right there. Really love that one, you guys. Really, really love purple anything. Um, I don't know. It's just my thing. So, it's another limited edition one from MAC. I know you guys are like, what the F? Don't kick me. You guys can probably find things similar to this. Because most of their collections and stuff that people really buy, they like re-promote. This one is called Shakira. Most people got the other one called Giggly. It was pink with the pink heart. I got the purple because I love purple. So here's what that looks like swatched. And here is that right here. So these two on a mission and Secura are very similar actually, except for this one's a little bit deeper. And this one is a mineralized blush. My last one is also limited edition. I know. But it came out of the same collection as Earthshine. This is called Stratus. And I know y'all thinking like, what? You're going to wear that in the spring and summer? But, yeah. I'm trying to get a really good... From the camera. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to wear this in the spring and summer. Because when I get a little bit deeper, this is going to look beautiful. But just with a light hand, it's going to look really beautiful. I think. Anyway, and that's what makeup is. It's what you want. Oh! <gasps> I just nicked it! Do you see that? Oh, friggin' frick rack. Oh my gosh. At least it's in the corner and it's like not going to go anywhere. Oh, that sucks. 
This nail nicked it. Oh my gosh. Anyway, that's the color right there. Another purple plum color. Really like it. So those are all of the MAC blushes. We're going to move on to Milani. Okay. Just need to clean my hands off really quick. Okay, so Milani blushes. And I have more than this, but these are the ones that uh, I wear in the summertime. So, oh, I hate that I nicked that. Okay, so I only have two for spring and summer. And that is Barry Amour and Coralina. This one is Coralina. And it is true to color. It's a bright orange. And this one is Barry Amour. And Barry Amour has mauvey pink tones with gold. Okay. On my skin, they look pretty similar. Um, hopefully you guys can see the difference. This one is Coralina and this one is Berry Amor. I can tell the difference when I apply them and they're shared out. I can't really tell the difference right now. So we might both be having the same problem. I think that's making it worse. Anyway, so those are the two Milani blushes. Um, I got one from Physicians Formula. And then I have one more after this. And this one is the Happy Booster Blush in Rose. That's what it looks like swatched. And that's what it looks like on my hand. And it's a pretty bright blush, actually. But it's really pretty. It's like got like a shimmer to it. This one is the last one. It's from Everyday Minerals. And it is called Text Message. It's a loose powder. And this is more of an everyday natural blush. But it looks so funny in the pot, but it looks so good on my cheeks. It might even look funny in the swatch. No, it looks good in the swatch. It's a purple. Yeah. It's like more like a plum. And it's got like this sheer like shimmer to it. I don't know if you guys can see that, like it glowing. But this is what it looks like in the pot. To me, I would have never have guessed that that was that color, but it's really pretty. Um, I did notice when I went, I went on the website to look for this and they have changed the types of blushes that they have on the website. So I guess they also only do it per season because you can't, that I know of, you can't pick up text messaging anymore. But if you guys can find it, you get a lot of product. There's 19 ounces in here or 5.5 grams. Man, that's a lot of blush. And I mean, you don't want to wear it that heavy. So those are my favorite blushes for the spring and summer. And I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something from it. I hope you guys will try some of this stuff out and let me know what you think. And until next time, you guys, oh, stay tuned on my channel. Please stay tuned, stay tuned, because I'm starting up a new series. And um, this new series, I'm going to continue with the Wet n Wild lipsticks, but this new series is going to be called Trash Talk Tuesdays. 
I'm letting it loose. I'm letting it all hang out. Anything on my mind, I'm going to talk to you guys about. It's probably mostly going to be work or TV shows that I watch, situations I come across, anything. Trash Talk Tuesdays, real talk, grown-ups only. If you're under 18, do not tune in. There probably will be a little bit of foul language, so I don't want your parents messaging me, commenting on my page that I suck, I'm a horrible person. So if you're not an adult, don't look at that. But anyway, I hope you guys really will enjoy this new thing I'm going to be doing because it's just going to come straight from the heart, straight from me. You'll get to know me a little bit better. Um, yeah, so that's going to be an additional thing to my channel and I'm so excited. So I will talk to you guys soon. And until next time, deuces, be your inner diva.